week. It really is. Guido, I'm safe. Guido, go back in the elevator. A lot of red-haired, <laughs> a lot of red-haired Guidos around, ain't there? Oh, stop faking it. Hi, I'm here with six sizzling singles on night games. And as you know, the girls score the guys. The guys score the girls on how much they like my opening monologue. No, on how much they like each other's answers. Then the guy and the girl with the highest scores at the end of the show will enjoy a romantic dinner date together. And tonight's rendezvous takes place at Prego, a popular Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills Tractorium. It's so popular, I can't pronounce it. Okay, now, our winning couple will also play an exciting bonus round with a chance to win a fun-filled three-night stay at the Vacation Village and Hotel Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. Yes, I thought it would do that to you. Now, before we get started with round one, let's have our players tell us where they're from and what they do for a living. That's it. I don't have to read anymore. Hi, Sean. Hi. <laughs> Look, we're live. Sean from Burbank, DJ. This kind of DJ? No, this kind of DJ. Oh, okay. Nice to have you here. Hi, Jeremy. I'm from New Jersey, and Jeremy's my name. I'm 23, and rapping's my game. You girls on the panel, I hope you see that your best choice is Jeremy. Oh, my God. White people rapping. Get yeah. me off the show. Okay, Curtis. I'm from Wisconsin, and I'm a personal trainer. Are you really? Good to have you here. Perhaps you'll get the show in shape. Alma? Alma. Alma. <laughs> I practiced nothing yet. I, I flubbed it. Alma. Uh, yes. Where are you from? Originally from San Pedro, California. Um, I'm also a personal trainer, aerobics instructor, full-time student, and waitress. Okay. <laughs> and dressed like a piñata. Hi, Pam. Hi, I'm Pam. I'm from Arcadia, and I work at the billing department at a medical laboratory. Oh, uh, but who doesn't? Megan? Hi, my name's Megan, and I'm from Los Angeles, and I work in promotions. Okay. All right. The name of this round, which is round one, is He Said, She Said. And as you know, I'm going to ask each of you a question to find out your attitudes and opinions about men, women, dating, relationships in general. And on night games, the guys rate the girls, the girl rate the guys on a one through ten scale. Ten being a perfect score. And uh, we're going to start with Megan. Guys, get ready to score this. Complete this sentence. Women have it all over men when it comes to what? Sex. Wait till I finish the question. <laughs> She's almost telepathic. Okay, sex. Why do you say sex? Because men, it's like when guys go out at night, they sit there and they say, oh, well, I, I'm going to go out and I'm going to get some girl tonight and I'm going to take her home. But it's like women can go out to, some, to a club or whatever and they know whether they're good looking or ugly or fat. They can end up with somebody at the end of the night. They always tell women that. Okay, yeah, women just, it's not as hard for women. No. No Doesn't pun intended. What she looks like. Okay, let's see how you got scored here. Look at that. Now, uh, there's a, quite a difference here between Sean and Jeremy. You gave her 10, Sean, you gave her 2. What's going on? I think her attitude, in a way, is kind of reluctant. I mean, there's a lot of nice guys out there. Yeah! See that? Okay, we have to move on, Pam. Uh, are men or women more cutthroat when it comes to getting ahead in business? I think men are. Why is that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, they just step on each other. They step all over everybody, and they want to get ahead on that top of the pole. You see that pile of men at CBS mm -hmm. on the way in? <laughs> all trying to get on this show. Okay. Men are more cutthroat. Uh, <laughs> Pretty much, except for Curtis, who gave you a 10, and Sean and Jeremy gave you a 2 each. They're building an arc. Okay, Alma? <laughs> Alma, right? Yes. Alma. It's Alma. For people at home, it's Alma. <laughs> what are some stupid ways that men declare their love for women? Um, well, usually it's stupid that they just, they can't do it. They'll do anything but that. They'll say, well, I really like you a lot, or I, I, uh, I, I like you, yeah. They can't come out and say it a lot of times that I love you, and that's usually the problem. Okay, so they slam Problems. Okay, let's see how you scored. Look at this. Uh, no problem with Sean and Jeremy. Curtis, you gave, uh, gave her a two, and I'm curious as to why. Uh, because I know men will do a lot of different uh, 
pranks and try gifts and try different gags to, to express but their can feelings. They say because, it? Well, they can't come out and say it, but they'll do a lot of, <laughs> a lot of crazy things to let people know. Sometimes we'll pull your hair and flick things at you. Yeah. <laughs> but then in our 40s and 50s, that passes. Okay, uh, we're going to be right back after Luann says this. Hey, how much attitude can you take? Well, we have three outspoken guys who plan to tell it like it is as soon as we continue with the He Said, She Said round after this message. Hi, we're back with more He Said, she said, and now guys, it's the ladies' turn to judge your attitudes and opinions on a 1 through 10 scale. Remember that 10 is a perfect score, so let's be honest, let's be real, and we start with Curtis. Uh, why are many women turned on by arrogant men? Who cares? <laughs> well, that's it. <laughs> women don't want the guy that nobody wants. Women want the guy that all the other girls want. And uh, if the guy knows he wants, uh, the girl wants, you know, a lot of girls want him. He's going to be, I don't necessarily think arrogant, he's going to be cocky, he's going to be confident. Okay, a good answer. Ladies, how'd you score in one through ten? Yikes, we go all the way from nine, uh, Megan, and uh, only gave him a one. I think a lot of times when a guy's arrogant, it completely makes him unattractive. I mean, it's, it's a guy, you know, he just thinks he's God's gift. And, really? Yeah. Feel that. <laughs> Kidding. Feel okay, that. for what? <laughs> yes, it's night game, the show you can feel. Okay, Jeremy, what, what do all women hide in their apartments that men always wish they can find? Well, I think the obvious choice would be a uh, diary, husband. but number one, I'm um, not an obvious person, and number two, I would honor the girl's privacy like I would hope they would honor mine. So I think I'm going to have to go with revealing pictures of themselves oh, from past relationships oh, yeah. and things like that. Okay. I'm, Sometimes it's hard to hide those poster-sized no, ones. Okay, ladies, what'd you give him? Uh, two, two, and six. Boy, this is interesting. Pam, you gave him a six. Did you agree with his answer? Did you not agree? I don't know what's happening. Some of it I did, but I, I don't know. I just, you, you just don't by have the impression any... I get from him. Oh, it's a psychic thing? Yeah. Okay. But you do have revealing pictures. No. Film oh. at 11. Okay. <laughs> Sean, welcome back to the game. <laughs> what don't women have the right to expect from a man? The more came come to that. Number one things that come to my mind. Well, I'm an old-fashioned kind of guy, and I like to pay for things, but I think this is the, the 90s, and things are a little tight, so I think the girl should be more understanding and not be totally expecting the guy to be paying for everything. Yeah. <laughs> All those people clapping were people he handed money out to. Ladies, look at this. They agree with you. That's the way you play the game. All right, we've heard some pretty strong opinions, and now our judges are totaling the scores to find out which guy and which gal, hey, it's the 40s, which gal is in the lead. And we find that out of a possible 30 points, Megan is uh, leading with 21 points. And from the guy, Sean, almost perfect at 26. But uh, that could very easily change in our next round, okay? Uh, we come back, we're gonna do love secrets right after this. years, we at the International House of Pancakes concede there's more to life than pancakes. That's why IHOP has a chicken fried steak breakfast, a chicken fried steak lunch, and a chicken fried steak dinner. So we still sell pancakes? Of course, we're the International House of Pancakes, aren't we? Woo, that was close. Is that a new... Coming back at you with more night games. Tonight's participants will receive the following. This attractive steel frame wine rack from Charleston Forge features a hand-polished pewter finish and terracotta tile top from Charleston Forge, North Carolina. Or the Michael C. Fina Company presents this elegant hand-cut Irish crystal decanter from the fine crystal collection of the Michael C. Fina Company. And the talking clock from the Howard Miller Company. Clock Company announces the hour or time of day at a touch of a button. It features a quartz battery movement from the Howard Miller Clock Company. Now duck and cover, it's time for round two, Love Secrets. Hi, I apologize to you people at home, my entire audience is on diet pills. Thanks, Luann. 
Now it's time for round two. <laughs> Love secrets. And this time our players will score each other on a 1 through 20 scale. 20 being a perfect score. And remember that the girl and the guy, the girl and the guy with the highest score at the end of the show will enjoy each other's company for a romantic candlelight dinner and possibly a fabulous trip to fabulous Las Vegas. It's also fabulous. Okay, Sean, here's a fabulous question for you. What is the most bizarre thing you've ever learned about a girl from her parents? Oh, man. When I was in high school, I was dating this girl. I went to take her to this junior-senior prom, and she was getting ready, and her parent, her dad, let out this secret that when she was younger, she thrived on peanut butter and sardine sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. That's a potentially explosive combination. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see her much afterwards. You didn't see her much afterwards? No. See? She imploded. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. What happens over here? Speaking of implosions, uh, 18 from Megan. Uh, high scores from Alma and Megan. Pam, you only gave her a 7. Megan, why'd you give him an 18? Well, it was a revealing thing, but it didn't seem real revealing, I mean. It was a good story, though. Yeah. <laughs> but... I get all choked up, that peanut butter sardine <laughs> stuff. Just gets to a guy. <laughs> Jeremy, if that tattoo is real, what don't you miss... <laughs> It's like he's on that Beverly Hills show. What don't you miss about the girl you left behind in New Jersey? <sighs> well, Chuck, I mean, Jeff. Uh, <laughs> come in, come I think there'd have to be one of two things. Uh, well, first, they have a lot of facial hair. And secondly, uh, the girls in New Jersey just have a lot of hair, period. They got that and Jersey hair. The bathing suits they wear, they're... Uh, they're, they're baggy, they're like diapers. It's, it's, I, I've seen better fit uh, depends on my grandma. Than, <laughs> the, really? So, yeah, I'm personally a G-string man. You're so. a G-string man. If you can't wear the G, don't be on the B. There you go. That's from the forthcoming Dr. Zeus <laughs> Chicks in New Jersey book. Okay, let's see what happens over here. I gotta go to Alma, she gave you a two. Oh, what happened? Alma. Wait, so weren't we talking about arrogance earlier? Yes. <laughs> Remember that? Uh, yeah, I think he's a pretty arrogant little guy. But, uh... Little guy? <laughs> An arrogant little guy! Well, okay. But also, I've been to New York, and, and there are a lot of girls New there. New Jersey. Jersey. I'm sorry, Jersey. I've been there to Newark, New Jersey, and there are a lot of uh, attractive ladies there and men, and, and I don't think that, uh, that they have facial hair. Okay. <laughs> it's those, a strange those answer. Those you people listening in New Jersey, Alma is your champion. Okay. <laughs> Curtis, complete this sentence. I've never met a woman who yet understood what? Uh, a man's love for sports, I think. I mean, uh, <laughs> some men, I mean, I, I personally, the fanaticism of, of, of sports and how it's, it's drilled into us from early on in our competitiveness, and they, do, they don't understand it. They can't deal with it. Okay. Let's see how they score that generic answer. <laughs> oh! I gave you a one, two, and a six. I'm going to ask Megan why she gave you a two. Well, I didn't want to give him a one. I felt sorry for him. I knew somebody else that. would. <laughs> women, have, women have things that men don't understand. I mean, we know that. So it's like, I mean, I know I may not understand sports or the love for it, but there's other things that I've got in my life that I love that much. Like so what? So I can respect it. Movies? I can sit there and watch movies from, like, morning till night, one video it's after the other. Okay, let's see what happens over here. Now we're going yeah, over to the ladies' side. One. Wake up, New Jersey. Here's Alma again. Okay, which five of your physical attributes get you the most attention from men, and in what order? Um, uh, well, first I've had the most comments about my smile. But, you know, don't you ever not smile? Or, okay, that's one. That's number one. And then I guess we'd have to move down to my breasts. That's two and three. <laughs> slowly going down the anatomy to my butt <laughs> and then probably some of the strangest comments I have have been made about my legs really? uh, what they say well one really crude comment was they'd make a great necklace <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and then uh, back up to my eyes okay what'd you make in arts and crafts mom wait till I show you this necklace <laughs> okay <laughs> this. Uh, a 19 from Sean you're in full agreement that Alma's in full effect yeah. Yeah. And you know what she loves? Peanut butter and sardines. Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, Pam, admit to a couple of unusual sensual activities you've enjoyed with guys. Hmm. Notice it says with guys. Uh, <laughs> I swear. Uh, I swear. 
Okay, first of all, called Gourmet Sex. Gourmet Sex? Yeah, she cut up some fruit, have some whipped cream. It's a little nice appetizer right there. Okay. And the second one is a hot cinnamon oil massage. Well, you're already hot before you... Wait, wait, say, how, wait. A hot cinnamon oil massage. How do you do that? And you're already oh. hot. Are you already hot? You, yeah, you're already hot when you put it on. Ah. Then you just get, the heat gets up. The heat gets up? Yeah, the heat gets intense. Okay. There you go. For those of you conserving during the winter months, here's your little tip. Okay, let's see what happens over here. Look at this. A 20 and a 20, which uh, bookends a 10 by Jeremy. I made a mistake. What happened? I, I, I meant to put 20. Did you? Can yeah. we fix that, judges? Okay, that would be our first perfect score of the game for those of you that are keeping score. <laughs> smells like cinnamon. Okay, Megan. <laughs> what must wait what do you like what do you like they should really get someone who can read english to host the show uh what do you like a man to do for you that most women do for themselves that's all i'm trying to say shave my legs wash my hair bathe me <laughs> um, yeah. your legs. oh yeah it's great Really? Yeah. You ever see a guy shaving in the morning with all that? See, though, he's worried about, like, cutting cutting you and stuff, so he's real gentle and real smooth. And it's nice. Okay, let's see. I've never heard that. I want I want a man who can guys. How does it sit with you? Look at this over here. Uh, Sean, let's put it this way. Sean was the highest score with eight. Jeremy and Curtis both gave you one. Oh. You first. Uh, I, I can think of a lot more. <laughs> A lot more things women would like to have done. Uh, generally, they take pride in doing those things to themselves. You know? <laughs> <laughs> there are other chores, I think, that are, like, delegated to a man. Okay. Jeremy? Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> I saw him. Shoplifting <laughs> is stealing, Curtis. Sean, you, you, uh, you scored her uh, infinitely higher than the other guys. What happened? Well, I, I tend to agree with him, but it also has to be the person... You have to want it. I, it has to be a person that I want to do it too. So, and uh, just I agree with them. Okay? <laughs> Did you hear that? That's the end of the game. Oh. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's find out which one of our ladies scored the most points. And the winner is. Uh oh, with 74 big ones. It's Pam. Pam, come on down. Congratulations. Stand right over here. This way I won't spit on you. Okay, now let's find out which one of the men will accompany you on that romantic dinner date to Prego Restaurant and possibly the special date to Las Vegas, Nevada. The top scoring dude is... Sean! We both have won a dinner date to Prego. Sean, give her a hug. He's so old-fashioned. Okay, now, you know what happens? Now we go and play our bonus round. Come over here. This is a round that we call the compatibility game. Sean, you're over here. Grab your pen and uh, grab it on national television. Okay, now, here's what we do. Uh, I'm gonna read off the list, and if you match two out of three answers, you're gonna be going to Las Vegas, Nevada, and look over your answers. Remember, two matches, and you're going to Las Vegas, and wait till I ask you to score it, and then you're gonna flip the cards. Okay, what is the best place for a kiss? Is it by the fireplace, in the rain, or on the beach? Score now. Sean, it's a half-hour show. Okay, no match. Flip your cards. Now, remember, if you only match one, we're going to give you a special prize during dinner. Okay, what is the hottest color for a bedroom? Orange, pink, or purple? Listen. Okay. Now, uh, uh, okay, Sean, you picked purple. Have you been to Prince's Place? Because like, uh, you knew the lady was going to go with the pink, didn't you? Had an idea of it. Purple okay. is my color. Now, now... You have no matches, but if you... Now, this is what I was telling you about. Now, if you match one, we have a special surprise for you, which I think would be uh, a fine bottle of champagne with dinner, if you match on this question. Well, maybe not. <laughs> what, what is the most romantic facial feature? Is it eyebrows, eyelashes, or earlobes? Let's see if you match on this one. Do it now. No match! No match. Come back here. You see something? Perhaps we should keep you separated. Uh, you didn't match at all. She chose, uh, she chose eyelashes, and uh, the guy, of course, chose earlobes. So close yet so far. However, you're both going to dinner.
stand here, make believe you kind of like each other. All right, all right, this is Jeff Marta. Remind you that if the shoe fits, wear it. If it doesn't, get one of those wooden things and stretch it out. Hey, what do I look like? A shoemaker? Thanks for playing. Let's go meet the other two. Come on back.